And at 11, calls for safety after a hit and run left a teenager fighting for his life. That 17-year-old boy suffered life-threatening injuries over the holiday weekend in Waterbury. And tonight, police say they have identified a person of interest. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina is live in Waterbury tonight with an update on that boy's condition. Hector. Well, we received an update from police just after 5 o'clock this evening, and they say that boy is in critical condition at Connecticut Children's Medical Center as of 5 o'clock tonight. And after that boy was hit on a scooter while riding through the intersection of Highland Avenue and West Main Street here in Waterbury. Now, earlier tonight, we spoke with some people who live in a nearby apartment who witnessed the aftermath and say that is a very dangerous intersection. Heard the bang. I live over there, so I came out. Tom Giordano lives in the Robin Ridge apartment, standing just feet away from where a 17-year-old was severely injured in a hit and run on the intersection of Highland Avenue and West Main Street Friday night. He said he came outside and saw the aftermath just before midnight. Saw a bunch of cop cars and the ambulance taking the guy away and... It was a bike in pieces. Police now have a person of interest and say they were driving a 2002 Maroon Cadillac XT5. Giordano says scooters, street bikes, ATVs, and other motorized vehicles are constantly driving through that intersection. We see them constantly up there, up and down our street. You'll see it in a minute. <laughs> Stick around, you'll see it. Back and forth. An intersection that Jesus Cassiano can't stand living near. That's about the worst intersection I've ever seen. He adds there should be more signage or street lights to reduce speeding. There's a lot of accidents here because there's no lights, and especially coming out of here. I live right there, and there's a lot of accidents just coming out. You can't really make a left. you got to go right. It's a nightmare. I'm scared to drive in Waterbury, period. Waterbury police say their crash reconstruction unit is investigating the incident to confirm the operator of the vehicle and hold them responsible. It's unfortunate that it's a young kid like that. An eyewitness news called Waterbury Police Department to find out just how many accidents have been happening in that intersection, but we have yet to hear back. In Waterbury tonight, Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.